Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Sienna NDI Tools. Today we're going to be looking at the Sienna NDI Signal Generator, which is a really useful uh, tool for engineers, broadcasters, and users to evaluate uh, NDI workflows, to test connection between devices, networks, things like that. It's always useful to be able to have an instantly available NDI source where you can just generate an animation or some stills and have something available to you that you know is always going to work when you turn it on. So the NDI signal generator um, creates frames that are 1920 by 1080. So it's a full HD size image that it creates. And it can use a variety of different test patterns and also animations and things like that. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to connect to the NDI signal generator using the NDI monitor just so we can see what's going on. And we'll see that it's generating a test pattern, this one right here. And we can also uh, turn on tone, which we can mute there if we don't want to hear it. And we can quickly look through the different patterns. So we've got color bars, uh, gradient ramps, things like that, flat files, and also things like this, which is very useful for looking at uh, interlacing and things like that. We can choose the frame rate that we're working at. So one frame, right, 25, 29, 7, and 60. As you do that, if you, if you want to, at the other end, maybe on a different computer, you're running the NDI monitor, you can turn on the frame rate display, and this will show you whether you're getting the full frame rate through your network. That's a really, really useful for one for testing uh, networking and things like that. More usefully, perhaps, is if you load one of the animations. So we have a countdown clock and it takes a few seconds to load and then we're going to see it come up as an animation rather than a still and this is often more useful than a still image um, and it's great to be able to produce video uh, frames or video animations instantly just by turning on an application so this one actually counts real time at 25 frames per second what you can also do is you can choose uh, interlaced progressive or field based which are three different modes in the NDO protocol and this is probably more interesting to developers that are evaluating different modes, but in some cases it's useful to test the way that NDI is behaving. With the tone, you can change the level of the tone. You can, it normally comes out as stereo, but you can make monotone if you want to as well. And for example, in the animation, if, if I just turn it down a little bit, and we turn the audio back on, you hear, you're gonna hear that it has a synchronization beep at uh, I think five. So you can hear there. That's also very useful to make sure that the audio and the video are in sync um, if you're transferring the NDI through some other process or processing in some way. So as well as the different test patterns we've got and the different animations, we can also uh, use a different mode to check the, the frame rate. So this is really going to work at 25 or up to 60, but if you want to see how much your system is capable of, you can turn on the benchmark mode and what this will do will allow you to essentially run a benchmark test. It's going to run the uh, signal generator flat out to see how fast it can go. And in this case, it's getting to about 120 frames per second. That's about as fast as this generator can create uh, frames. So on a faster computer, it'll go faster, and uh, on a slower one, obviously less. And as new, diff new uh, NDI versions come out, you're going to see that uh, the performance is different. So that's a great way of measuring that. There are other types of animations for different purposes. So the countdown clock's a great general purpose one. What we've also got is it's not really taxing the compressor very much. So there's another test here called fast cycle that just cycles between the different test patterns. And this makes the encoder work a little bit harder. It takes a few seconds to load each animation as it caches it into a 150 frame uh, RAM buffer. And as you can see, we're playing through here and also, we're, um, you can see that there's a white line that uh, follows past. There are other ones that are great for smoothness. So panning line is a, just a general uh, test of how smooth playback is. If you pass this through an entire NDI workflow and look at it at the other end, you're going to be able to easily spot if there's anything glitching the frame rate or getting involved with timing and so on and so forth. If you really want to test the uh, encoder, then the color flow is a good test. This one is much more difficult to compress. And equally, we've got mono noise and color noise that are really quite tricky to do. 
So these are some different test patterns and test mechanisms you can use in the uh, NDI signal generator to evaluate whether your NDI workflow is working great. And also, of course, to just uh, create a signal just to make sure that everything's working. It's a, it's a great tool. Give it a try and come back for the next episode of Sienna NDI Tools for Mac.